Calendly is a really great tool that you can use to schedule appointments with your leads, your customers, prospects, and close your deals in a much more effective manner. It is completely free to use. However, if you want to take advantage of their customization automation feature, you can check out their paid packages as well. And over here, you have to enter your email address and your password. You can also sign up with your Google account by clicking over here. Once you log in, this is what your interface would look like. So the first thing we would do is go to our account section over here and I will click account settings and I'm going to upload my profile picture by clicking over here. I'll select the picture from my computer and I will click apply and over here you can change the name you can also edit the welcome message so this is essentially the text that will be reflected on your calendar underneath your name over here you can change the language uh, if you want your audience to interact with you in french you can select that i'm gonna stick to english for now you can also change the date format the time format uh, you can select the country where you're located and you can also change the time zone. So this is very important, especially when you have your clients and leads booking calls with you. But, you know, let's say they are in a different time zone. So you want to make those adjustments right over here. So this looks good to me. I will click save. Next thing I would like to do is go to the branding tab. And this is a great way for, uh, you know, consultants, entrepreneurs or even businesses out there to take advantage of this tool. And that way, when you're sending that calendar, invite to your clients it just makes you look a much more professional team out there if you can add your logo add little branding elements and things like that so I'm gonna upload my image over here so this is our logo I will upload that and I'm, then I'm just gonna center it I'll click apply and we also have an option to remove the calendar branding but then you have to go for a paid plan so if you want to remove that you can select this tab over here and upgrade to the professional plan and then we have the my link section so over here you can customize the url link so that is the link which will be reflected on this section when your client or your leads are gonna uh, select on the meeting link so i want to remove my username and i want it to say something like woo video which is the name of our company and as you can see this link is available over here next we have our phone number so you can also add your contact information uh, which will be used in any text to host workflows that you can create in the future and yeah that's basically with the account settings the next thing i want to show you guys is the calendar connections so this is a very good tool and essentially you are connecting Calendly with your existing Google Calendar. So that way it assures synchronicity when it comes to scheduling calls. So let's say if somebody wants to book a call at 9 a.m. using your Calendly link, but on your Google Calendar, you already have a call at 9 o'clock. So that way Calendly would not reflect 9 o'clock as a time available on your calendar. Uh, so I'm going to click reconnect over here and I'm gonna select my account and I will click allow. Yeah, so that way I can manage both my Google Calendar and also my Calendly account without uh, any conflicts. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the admin management. So this is a great way if you work in a team to organize yourself. Uh, you can also structure it based on the people where they are located. You can create a group and do a lot of other fun stuff. We also have the analytics tool over here. And this is a great way just to like see how many events you booked in, how many meetings you attended, what was the popular day of the week when people were booking you in, any popular events out there and a lot of other metrics which will help you make better decision when it comes to organizing your lead generation process so now I'm gonna go back to my home page and the first thing we would do is create our meeting link so I will click create over here uh, so we have three forms of meeting we can create we have a one-off meeting where you can invite somebody to pick a time where they would like to meet with you you can also have an event type where you can create a template for your regularly scheduled events we have meeting poll as well but we'll talk about this in the future videos for this video I'm gonna stick to event type so over here we have different formats first one is one on one over here there will be one host and one invitee so this is good if you are conducting interviews or if you want to have coffee chats uh, with your leads or if you just want to answer any questions with your prospect out there 
we have a group invite so this is good if you are doing an online class or you are hosting a webinar as well so there will be one host who will be taking the calls and there will be a group of invitees who will be attending that call next we have the collective so this is good for panel interviews or like a group sales call so there will be one invitee and more than one host next we have round robin so this is good for you know rotating host with one invitee uh, it, and it's very useful if you are uh, generating a sales lead and if you want them to talk through different people uh, in your organization so you can rotate the host accordingly so for this video let's say we want to go for one-on-one -on -one. next we will come to this page and we'll give this event a name so i'm gonna call this as a uh, discovery call for our channel and you can also set the location so whether you want to meet this person uh, through Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams etc or if you want to also meet them in person you can set that for the purpose of this video I'll select Google Meet and over here you can add description and instructions on what invitee should do to prepare for this event all right, so I wrote a little description that says, thank you for scheduling the call with me. Please have the survey filled out before attending the call. I look forward to meeting with you. And of course, you can get as creative and descriptive as you want. And over here, you can see the event link we have as well. A really cool thing I like is that you can also select the color. So this is a good way to brand your Calendly link. And since our color is more like violet, so I'll select that and I will click next. And over here, you can set uh, date ranges. So invitees can essentially schedule 30 days in advance, not 60 days in advance uh, in my case. But you can, of course, set your own range depending on your requirement. Over here, you can decide the duration of the call. If you want this call to run for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you can set that. Uh, since this is a discovery call, I don't want it to run more than 15 minutes so i'll select that next is how do you want to offer your availability for this event type so you can use an existing schedule that you have uh, or you can set custom hours as well i would set custom hours and over here i can also select my time zone this looks good to me uh, and you can also see this calendar uh, in like a list view or like a calendar view so i just want to schedule discovery calls on monday and tuesday i'll select that from nine to five if you want to uh, change the time you can always go in and select any time that is suitable for you so let's say if you want to schedule this call from 9 to 12 noon you can do that and if you want uh, this call to be scheduled from 9 to 12 every day of the week you can just click copy over here and then copy these times to Sunday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday click apply and there we go we have a really nice custom uh, template built out for us so then we have the buffer time we would like to add uh, between different calls. So essentially we booked a call and we had a meeting with someone, but before the event and after the event, you would like to have at least 15 minutes of, you know, just free time so you can prepare better for the next call. So you can go over here and select the tab and you can set some time aside. So I want to have at least 10 minutes before the event or between the events to prepare myself better. We also have some additional options so you can set up the name uh, you can also have uh, questions that you would like to uh, get answered before the meeting takes place so you can get their name you can get their email address you can also add a new question if you want uh, so for instance over here we are doing a discovery call uh, for our for our woo video service so over here, I typed out a question that says that, hey, we only provide video content. Is this something you're looking for? And I'll put that as required. And I can also go in and select the answer type. So I want them to be like radio buttons. And I just want them to say yes or no. And then I'll click delete. So over here, uh, basically when they are booking a call with you, they'll see this question. And if they are looking for something else other than video content, uh, they would know that it's not worth for them to book this call and that actually saves time for you as well and also for the person who's booking a call so this is a really smart way to strategize the people uh, who are you know scheduling a call with you and that just saves time for everybody and then we have our workflow section over here where you can set up different automations around your events um, so I'm gonna show you a quick example of this so I'll click get started with workflows and you can create your own workflow from scratch or you can use some of their templates if you like. So for example, let's say that I want to reduce the no-shows that I have. So I want to send an automated email reminder to all the invitees out there. So I'll click use workflow and you can give a name to your workflow over here. 
and then over here you can select the event type that this workflow will be applied to so i'll click discovery call and i'll click apply and then you can decide when this would happen so i'll click edit and i want them to receive this reminder email at least two actually at least two hours before the event starts uh, so I will select that I'll click done and I want them to receive an in email so I can click and then the email will be received so I'll click edit over here and over here you can also choose an existing template that Calendly provides or you can create your own template from scratch so I'll select the reminder template that they have so the subject line would show something like this the event name organizer time and the date and it should say something like hi their full name is a friendly reminder that your event is happening at this time and date uh, so this is a great way just to make sure that people are on track with all their invites they are attending the calls and it just uh, automates the whole process so i really like this feature so i'll click done and i'll click save Perfect, so our workflow is reflected on this section. So once they schedule a call, this is the page that will be shown on their screen. So you can go over here and you can have an option to either redirect them to your homepage or your website, or you can redirect them to the confirmation page. If they want to schedule another event, you can click on and then just schedule another event for them. Uh, so this looks good. I'm going to click save and close. Next, we have the collect payment section. And over here, you have an option to accept payments through Stripe or PayPal. And that way, every time somebody is booking a call with you uh, you can receive payments if you are providing consultation services and things like that i'm gonna click save and close for now so all of this looks good to me i will click view live page and over here you can see that this is what our page shall look like really nice and clean it has my logo my branding the text over here so let's say if somebody wants to schedule a call with me on 10th of january they will select that and over here they can select the time so i'll put 9 a.m i'll click confirm and then the invitee has to put in his name his email address and over here he can add some extra details and there we go this is our question that we only provide video content is this something you're looking for he can put yes or no and over here he can enter his phone number as well so really good tool um i feel that this is very very useful if you use a certain strategy to go about booking this call and streamlining this process you can have a lot of lead uh you know booked into your calendar in no time and once the call has been booked this is the confirmation page that they are going to see on their end so under your homepage section you can go under the scheduled events and over here you can check all the calls that have been booked in your calendar so for instance uh, i can see that a person basically i have just booked this call with me and if i want to add any notes uh, you can put it over here if i want to reschedule it or cancel the call i can go on these tabs and go through it we also have an integration section and over here you can connect your calendly link to various other applications out there such as salesforce your chrome um, you can collect it to your iphone app gmail linkedin messaging and a lot of other fun stuff so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful Please don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe button and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye now.